Let's see number four, finding the theta. From tangent theta is equal to negative 9.7. We need to find what is the inverse of tangent negative 9.7. So we can use our calculator to find uh, neg uh, second tangent, which is the tangent inverse, negative 9.7, close the parentheses, hit enter. Um, let me see, we, do I have any mistake? Is in degree measure? Yes, no mistake. So it's negative uh, 84.114. So negative 84.114 degree. And also I want to check my, uh, uh, I want to check my uh, answer. So I have learned for the tangent and the uh, sine, the inverse function uh, must be in these two quadrants. And uh, tangent theta is negative. So here, tangent must be positive. Oh, I must have my angle in fourth quadrant and uh, make my uh, tangent value is negative. And uh, yes, this angle is starting from initial side, go uh, all the way to the clockwise rota uh, rotation. So yes, no mistake. Uh, I've, um, let's move on. So next part is trig identities. So these identities are very important. Please pause the video and copy down all of this video and do some practice. Uh, you can write them on the paper for several times until you can memorize or uh, you know how to use them and memorize them. All right, next part is verify the identities. What are the identities? Actually, all of the uh, the formulas in this, this, this chart is the identities. And also we have some other identities. We want to prove that some new identities, the left-hand side and right-hand side, they are equal. So here ha have some hints how to verify the identities. Uh, learn the fundamental identities. Second, try to rewrite more complicated side of the equation uh, to verify is equal to the simpler side. So some of uh, my students uh, most of the us, we start from the complicated side. For example, like this one. This one, uh, the left-hand side looks very complex. So we prove left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. We're moving to the uh, right side. But some of my students, they are uh, thinking things the opposite. Uh, so they, they can also do the simple side to the uh, complex side. It's okay. Uh, but uh, uh, so the purpose is verify two sides are the same. Uh, we prefer to starting from the complex side. Uh, so uh, you can also convert them to be the sine and cosine. It's optional. So uh, sometimes we use the uh, we do the verification. Uh, we don't have to convert all of them to be the sine and cosine. Uh, if the question cannot be verified, so let's try to convert all of them to be sine and cosine. Okay, force the sum and difference, multiplication and division of two trig expressions can be found in the same way as uh, any other rational expressions. So number five, if the expression contains 1 plus sine x, 1 minus sine x, 1 plus cosine x, 1 minus cosine x, multiplying both numerator. Oh, it's talking about the uh, top and bottom, the rational expression. If we have the expression like this, top and bottom, 1 plus sine x. And then another one is 1 minus sine x. I want to combine these two together. I can multiply top and bottom by something until I can have the same denominator. So I can multiply these two bottom together. This is the lowest common denominator. 
Then we can multiply by something until we got our LCD. Flow is a common denominator. Okay. Let's see the first verification. So we have so many ways to do the verifications. We are not only having one method. That means when you are doing your homework on my open math, maybe you are not having the same method, and then you got the same solution. And maybe the uh, homework doesn't give you any point, but uh, don't worry. I, I will grade your homework manually. So after the due date, wait for a couple of days. Um, then uh, I will grade the, uh, sorry, grade the homework, uh, give you the credit back because we are having so many ways to do the verification questions. All right, let's see the first one. I want to verify this identity, the right-hand side and left-hand side, they are equal. If I'm starting from the uh, complex side, if I'm starting from my left-hand side, I want to prove my left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. Okay, I have two terms. I want to combine them together to get one term. What should I do? Mm, I should combine them together. So uh, some teacher says, uh, follow the method. We can convert this one to be tangent theta over one, and then multiply the one plus sine theta and one plus sine theta top and bottom, then combine the two fractions together. And some teacher says you can also com convert the tangent to be the uh, sine over cosine by using the identity. You have so many ways. You are not only having one way to solve it. So if I want to convert everybody to be the sine and cosine, first term, cosine over one plus sine, and then plus tangent theta, which is uh, sine, sine theta over cosine theta. And let's see two fractions, they do not have the same denominator. What should I do? We need to find the common denominator. So we multiply the two bottoms together. That is the LCD. So one plus sine theta, my denominator, multiplied by cosine theta. Top and the bottom all multiplied by cosine theta. And another fraction, sine theta over cosine theta. Top and bottom, they all divided, uh, sorry, multiply by one plus sine theta. So what did you see here? Yes, they have the same bottom. If they have the same denominator, I can add or subtract the top. So we have cosine theta times cosine theta, which is cosine theta squared plus sine theta times one plus sine theta, all divided by uh, one plus sine theta times cosine theta. So let's distribute this sine theta in the parentheses. Let's see what can we have. Cosine theta squared plus sine theta plus sine theta squared over one plus sine theta, uh, all of them multiplied by cosine theta. What do you see here? Sine, cosine theta plus sine theta, which is one. We have learned that sine theta plus cosine theta, it is one, so it is one. Let's continue. On the top, we have one plus sine theta, all divided by one plus sine theta, all di uh, multiplied by cosine theta. Our top and bottom, I can do the cancellation while over cosine theta, which is second theta. Okay, this is my right hand side. All right, I proved that my right hand side and left hand side, they are equal. Yes, this is a true statement. This is an identity. Okay, let's see next example. Next example, which side is more complex? I feel that left hand side is more complex. You can also start from the right. 
uh, it's okay. So I'm choosing the complex side, the left hand side. Let's start. I got two fractions. I want to combine two fractions to be one term together. So I need to have the same denominator or the LCD lowest common denominator. The two bottom they have nothing in common. Multiply them together. That is the LCD. So first fraction one over one minus cosine theta. Oh, sorry, cosine x. Top and the bottom multiply by one plus cosine x. One plus cosine x. Enlarge top and bottom. Minus one multiplied by one minus cosine x. All divided by one plus cosine x times one minus cosine x. Okay, now they have the same bottom. One minus cosine x times one minus one plus cosine x on the top. So one times all of this is one plus cosine x. Minus distribute this negative sign. Negative one times one, negative one. Negative one times negative cosine plus cosine x. Then combine like terms. On the top we have two. Oh, sorry, not two because one minus one is um uh, zero, and then two cosine x plus cosine x, two cosine x. And what is the bottom? So we have one plus cosine x times one minus cosine x. This is conjugate formula. We have learned a plus b times a minus b. It is a square plus b. Sorry, a minus b squared. So even I switch the position of a plus b, a minus b. It is a conjugate formula. So we have one minus. Cosine x squared. What is one minus cosine x squared? It is sine x squared. So all of the bottom is sine x squared. On the top, we have two times cosine x. So what is a cosine over sine? So we separate the sine x squared to be sine x times sine x. What is cosine over sine? Cotangent, so we have two times cotangent, and what is one over sine x? It is cosecant x. Okay, is this my right hand side? Yes, I proved my identity. Okay, let's see example three. Uh, which side is more complex? Maybe right hand side or left hand side. So if I'm choosing by uh, left hand side, let's say left hand side is equal to what? Okay, so we have squared and we have second, we have tangent. How to start? So my left right hand side is one fraction. I really want to convert two terms to be one part. Then do the simplification. Okay, how to convert them to be one whole part? So convert all of them to be the sine cosine. Second equals one over cosine t. And then plus oh sorry minus tangent is sine t over cosine t. Oh, they have the same denominator. Good job. Then we combine them together. We have the bottom cosine t on the top is one over sine t. All of them squared. Now I don't know what to do because it it doesn't have a square. What should I do? Okay, I can square the top and bottom. One minus sine t squared, and then bottom is cosine t squared. Then let's uh expand the top. Top is, uh, top is a perfect square trinomial. So we have one minus two times a uh, two ab two times one times sine t, <coughs> and then plus sine t squared. Hmm, I think I'm running to the wrong way. Let's go back because if I'm doing this, 
and the bottom is cosine t. What should I do? I want to simplify my expression, but I didn't, uh, um, do it right. So, let's go to another way. We want to convert all of them to be the sine t or sine, and we need to avoid cosine. Um,、mm, what should I do? The bottom is cosine t, but I know that one minus sine t squared it is my cosine t. Yes, ah,、uh, I convert all of them to be the sine t. On the top is one minus sine t, so let's keep the squared. At the bottom, a squared minus b squared equals what? A plus b times a minus b. And、uh, one minus sine t squared. Can I say one is one squared? It is one plus sine t times one minus sine t. Yes, it is. Okay, that means I can rewrite my denominator, the bottom, to be conjugate formula is one plus sine t times one minus sine t. On the top, we have. One minus sine t squared, or some of you say one、uh, minus sine t times one minus sine t. So, on the top I have one minus sine t. Bottom is one plus sine t. Yes, it is my right hand side. I proved my verif、uh, verified my、um, identity. Proved the identity is true. All right. Let's see next part. Solve triangles. So, uh, this part we are solving the right triangles. What is a right triangle? One angle of my triangle is ninety degrees. Uh, so the sum of three angles is uh one eighty degrees, and the solving the right triangle is find the three. Angles or find another two angles and the three sides, the length lengths of the three sides. Ah,、uh, we also can use for example if we have A, B, and C. Ah,、uh, Pythagorean theorem: A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We we also use the sign. For example, A, B, C. For example, sign A is equal to opposite. Over hypotenuse, or we say the longest side. So we did the conclusion. So katoa. So any angle. So fits for example, theta. Sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, or、uh, opposite over the longest side. Uh, okay, this is sine, and we did the conclusion is, uh, S O H, S is a sine O H, and、uh, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is C A H, and the tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. We say this T O A. All of them is so katoa, so we can use uh these to help us to solve the right triangles. Let's see the first example. Right, solve the right triangle ABC. Every time I like to draw the image, so it will be very helpful when I'm solving my triangles. Any kind of triangles. First, I know this is a right triangle. One angle must be, uh. Ninety degree. This say, oh, this one is B, and A is thirty five degree. So let's say this is B. Uh, this is A, and this is C. This is thirty five degree, and the C, the side C is twelve inches. I need to learn what is the A, what is the C. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. C is twelve inches. Is here. And I want to learn B and A and angle C. So angle C is easy because the sum of the three angles can make a one eighty degree, and angle A and angle C can make a ninety degree. So we can use ninety degree minus thirty five degree, which is 
55 degree. And then we can use our Soka Toa to find B, uh, uh, sorry, uh, find A and B. So if I'm using angle A, so angle A, uh, so cosine, cosine A is equal to 12. That is my adjacent over B. And then we can uh, mm, uh, replace the A by the angle of A. Uh, a is equal to 35 degree. So multiply by B both sides. B times cosine 35 degree is equal to 12 divided by cosine 35. B is solved. 12 over cosine 35 degree. And we can use our calculator. Okay. Clear. And we say 12 divided by cosine 35 degree. Close the parentheses. Make sure your uh uh, so your calculator is in degree measure. Oh, sorry, what did I click? Degree measure. Okay, so we keep two decimal places. We're having side B is 14.65 inches. Now I got to the B. So A, I can use hypotenuse theorem, which is A squared plus B squared is equal to 12 squared. Oh, sorry, this is not the, the ABC. So A squared plus 12 squared is equal to the hypotenuse B squared. So I can solve my uh, A because B is given. Mm. So most of the time we say C is 90 degree. And this question is interesting. B is 90 degree. Okay, we can use uh, passive Pythagorean theorem, I can also use Sokatoa. So if I keep using the Sokatoa, we know that Tangent A is, mm, is equal to opposite A over uh, adjacent 12. So A is equal to 12 multiplied by 12 both sides. 12 times tangent A, which is 35 degree. So we can use our calculator. And then we can prove that A is equal to 8.4 inches. Or you can put a zero here because we're uh, looking for the two decimal places. So we solved the triang right triangle. You can also list the ABC here. So angle A is equal to 35 degree. And angle B is equal to 90 degree. And angle C is equal to, what is this? 55 degree. So A is equal to approximately 8.4 inches and uh, angle uh, side b is equal to 14.65 and the uh, side c is given is 12. okay so big angle big side so opposite of the big angle must be the big side okay let's see number two uh, solve the right triangle ABC if A is 25 degree, C is 48 centimeter, oh sorry, centimeter, centimeter, and angle C is 90 degree. So be careful every time check which angle is the right angle. Sometimes it is A, sometimes it's B, sometimes it's C. This question C is the right, right angle. So let's graph my right triangle and make sure C is here and A is 25. Oh, so angle is A, so let's say 25, 48, B, B is not given. So let's solve this question. Some of you say, hmm, Pythagorean theorem, which is uh, B squared plus 25 squared is equal to 48 squared. I can solve the B. Yes, good job. So if I'm... So for example, I solved it and B is 40.97 uh, centimeter. So for example, I didn't do the computation because I found it from my notes, but on my notes, I'm using different methods. Okay, so let's solve 
another two angles. So if I'm looking for uh, angle A, so I'm using sine. So sine A is equal to opposite, which is 25, over 48. And then my A can be found by the inverse function, inverse of sine 25 over 48. So it is 31.39 degree. So can you use Sokatoa solve B? Uh, yes, you can. You can do that. But it's easier if you found the A. I use 90 degree minus A, then I can find the B. So use this easy method. Uh, if you use Sokatoa, you got no mistake. You, you got a very good solution. But let's make it uh, uh, short. So 90 degree minus A. A is found, has been found by us. So it is 58.61 degree. So that's all. If you like, you can also do the conclusion ABC's value. Uh, and then you can list the ABC's. Mm, what happened to me? Uh, the side value. Okay, let's see. Solving oblique triangles. Oblique triangles, they are not the right triangles. They could be acute angles, for example. This is a, oh, it seems like a right triangle. So this is acute triangle. And then we can also solve some obtuse triangles like this. We have the, uh, all of them acute, and one angle is obtuse angle. Okay, how to solve them? We need to review some laws or some rules. First one, we say law of sines. This is a formula. If I have a triangle, any kind of triangle, A, B, C, and their opposite side is A, B, C. So they satisfied the equation A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is equal to C over sine C. And also, we can flip them. So sine A over A is equal to sine B over B is equal to sine C over C. Um, so we can use this uh, equation help us to solve the oblique triangles. So the cases like AAS and uh, ASA, so we call this two angle one side case because if i have two angles i can find another angles by using the sum of three angles equals 180 degree then we got one side so that's enough for us find other missing information also you can find use uh, the law of sign to solve the ssa case two sides and uh, an angle next to uh, the sides Okay, let's move on. Okay, it's a little bit messy. Okay, solve the triangle ABC. If A is 32 degrees, C is 81 degree, uh, sorry, 81.8 degree, and the angle side A is 42.9 centimeter. So every time I like to graph. So let's graph my triangle. What is uh, C's value? Uh, angle C is the biggest angle. So let's say this is angle C. Uh, angle A is small. We say this is angle A. You can also uh, draw randomly uh, the angle, satisfy these two conditions. Okay, 32.0 degree, and this is 81.8 degree. So, angle B is equal to 180 degree minus A minus C. What is that? So, we can use our uh, calculator to do the computation. Uh, 
So let me see my cheat sheet. It is sixty two, six six point two degree. You can do the、uh, computation yourself. And then what else information we need to have? So A is given is forty two point nine centimeter. So six six point two degree. So we can use law of sine to find the opposite of the angle C and the angle B. So If I'm looking for the side, I'm using the formula, the、uh, um the side on the top because side is the missing information. So if I'm looking for the C, C over sine C is equal to、uh, A over sine A. A is given. So C is C divided by, okay. Sine C, which is thirty two point zero degree, is equal to A is forty two point nine degree. Oh, sorry, centimeter. I'll divide by sine eighty one point nine eighty one. I think I made a mistake. Ah,、uh, sorry, I. Uh, I messed up my image because I didn't match、uh, the information properly. I'm sorry. So, wasting time. So skip this part. Sorry. So let's graph a triangle, and I have a C is a big angle. So let's try to do this. Um,、uh, A, B, C. And C is eighty one point eight degree, A is thirty two, uh, degree. So B is, uh, one eighty degree minus A minus C. So it is sixty six point two degree, and then. So let's find the information. A is forty two point nine. For opposite of angle A, forty two point nine. Looking for the C, so C over sine C, which is eighty one point eight degree, is equal to A is forty two point nine over sine thirty two point zero degree. So. The side C is equal to uh, uh both side multiply by side eighty one point eight degree forty two point nine multiply by side eighty one point eight degree all divided by side thirty two degree and then we can use our calculator to find the C so side C is equal to eighty point one two eight centimeter. And next, we use the law of sine to find B side B, the opposite of angle B. So B over sine B, which is sixty two point two degree, and、uh, is equal to A over sine A. A is forty two point nine over sine thirty two point zero degree. So the B is forty two point nine multiplied by sine sixty six point two degree all divided by sine thirty two degree. Uh, it is seventy four point zero seven centimeter. So we solved the A B C. Okay, let's move on. Law of cosine. So if Uh, in any triangle ABC with the side ABC, uh, the side is find these three equations: a squared plus b squared, uh, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus two bc times cosine a. And、uh, from any of these three equations, I can prove cosine of this angle. So maybe a, maybe b, b, maybe c. Cosine, for example, cosine a is equal to b squared plus c squared minus a squared, all divided by 
to be C. So if I have three sides A, B, C, I can use this formula to find the angle A. And if I have two sides S, A, S case, for example. So S and S, they are given. Angle A between these two sides, they are given. I can use the formula to find the opposite of A. So A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cosine A. Okay, so S, A, S case, we're using law of cosine. Okay, let's see. Uh, the step solving the SAS case using the law of cosine to find the third side. So, second, find one of the remaining angle using law of sine. Number three, find the last angle using the angle sum formula. Okay, let's see the first example. Solve the triangle ABC. If A angle A is given, B is given. Side B and side C is given, so we can graph it. Uh, okay, randomly let's graph a triangle. A B C A is given forty two point three degree, and side B is twelve point nine. C is fifteen point four. Be very careful because every time. When we graph, we need to match all of these informations. So we need to find the two angles and another side A. So which method uh, I'm using? This is a SAS case. Uh, oh, yes, this is SAS case. I'd better to find the opposite of uh, angle A. So a side a squared is equal to b squared. Uh, b squared is 12.9 squared plus c squared, which is 15.4 squared, minus 2bc, 2 times 12.9 multiplied by 15.4 multiplied by cosine a. a is 42.3 degree. So we put all of this in our calculator. And uh, so let's put them in the calculator. So 12.9 squared. And then plus, uh, plus 15.4 squared. Uh, minus 2 times 12.9 times 15.4 times cosine uh, 42.3, close the parentheses, if there's no mistake. Okay, we also need to square root of this number because we're looking for a, not a squared. So, so a squared is about what I I don't have a very good memory. So one o nine point six nine 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 seven seven. So it's about one zero nine point six six nine nine. I have really bad memory. Uh, six nine nine seven seven. One more six. And then the side A, we do the square root. Okay, uh, let's square root this one. We click second, square root button, enter. Okay, it's about 10.47 something. Let's keep two decimal places. So 10.474, three decimal places. Meter. And then what else? We use law of a sign to find uh, another angle. So we, were, are, we are choosing the opposite of the short side. Because the opposite of the short side must be acute angle, make us less work. 
So if I'm looking for the angle us uh, angle B, so we are using sine B. Put the angle on the top over side B, 12.9 is equal to sine A, sine 42.3 degree, all divided by 10.474 meter. So sine B is equal to multiply by 12.9 both sides, 12.9 times sine 42.3 degree, all divided by 10.474. And then find the inverse function. Okay, make a bigger parentheses. 12.9 multiply by sine 42.3 degree. Okay, all divided by 10.474. And uh, uh, let's use our calculator. Uh, we're going to have, what is this? So let's assume I got 56.0 degree. And then, oh, sorry. I shouldn't have an inverse sign here. Okay, so side uh, angle C, I don't have to use law of cosine or law of sine. I can use 180 degree minus a minus b. So the side c is about uh, 81.7 degree. Okay, let's move on. Mm, this is the last question of 1.2. Three sides are known. Oh, this is SSS, uh, SSS case. SSS case. Step one, use the law of cosine to find uh, one angle, which is opposite to the largest side, largest side, uh, largest side of the, uh, opposite of the largest side. Second, use the law of sine to find another angle. Number three, find the remaining angle using angle sum formula. Okay, let's see the first one. Every time, let's graph. So maybe sometimes we are having an uh, obtuse angle, which is uh, one side is, uh, sorry, uh, one angle is more than 90 degree. So this one, I don't know. So graph randomly. So we say A, B, C, or oh, C is uh, the biggest. So we say C is here. Oh, sorry. C is here. B is here. Because opposite C is long. Okay. And then... So first, let's find uh, the angle C because this is the opposite of the longest side. So if we are looking for the angle C, we know... Uh, the law of cosine has also has the formula cosine c is equal to a squared plus b squared minus c squared all divided by 2ab and the inverse uh, cos uh, angle c is equal to inverse of cosine of this formula a squared is 9.5 squared and the plus b is b squared is 15.9 squared minus c squared minus 21.1 squared all divided by 2a 2 times 9.5 times 15.9 okay uh, then we can use our calculator uh, to do the computation. So second cosine. Oh, that's a lot of work. So a squared is 9.5 squared. Mm. So second inverse of cosine. On the top, what do we have? We 
Let's use parentheses. It's、uh, my top. Nine point five squared. Squared, and then plus b plus b is fifteen point, um nine squared, and then minus, minus twenty one point one squared. Close the parentheses. This is my top. The bottom is two times a b two times nine point five. Multiply by. Fifteen point nine. Close the parentheses. Close the bottom parentheses. Close another parentheses for the inverse function. So the angle is zero. Ah,、uh, sorry. One o nine point seven six three one seven. So let's put the angle C in my, on my sheet. So one zero nine point seven six degree. I found my angle C. So next angle, I don't have to use law of cosine. I can use law of sine because less computations. So law of sine to find the other angles. I can find any angles. I don't have to choose the small or the big one. So for example, if I'm looking for, uh, the angle A. So looking for the angle A, I put the sine A on the top. Easier when we do the computation, so over side A, nine point five, is equal to side C, side one o nine point seven six degree, all divided by side C twenty one point one feet. So side A is equal to nine point five times side. One o nine point seven six degree all divided by two twenty one point one, and then angle A is inverse of sine all of this. So let's make it sh short. So side A is twenty. Oh, sorry. Angle A is twenty five point zero seven degree, and the so last one is angle B. Angle B is equal to one eighty minus A minus C is equal to forty five point one seven degree. Okay, we are done. If you have any question, please let me know. Have a good day. Bye bye.